Hello everyone, um, I'm back again. I had a little bit of a cold. Uh, it's probably because I went to uh, Goodwill to find this mic that I'm using as well as uh, a new joystick. <sighs> Fucking Macklemore. Anyways, so today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, hack Gmod, which is, you know, right here. Uh, now, before I show you how to do this, I'm going to say uh, you, I do not know if this is uh, VAC detected, which is the valve banning system. I am of course not using this on my main account, I'm using this on a backup or an alternative account. So what you're going to do is the, there's a download link in the description, uh, it's completely virus free, uh, it will be an ad fly though, so that's my warning. Uh, and then this should pop up once you finally get through all of it. It's a release V2. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your, again, I'm not going to show you my, uh, stiff. go to your local disk, go to program files, and then go to your steam files, and then steam apps, and then, for me, it's still under, uh, one of these, I'm not going to show you which one. Oh, wrong one. Ah, oh, whatever. Why, well, Cal? What does it matter? I'm not gonna install it really, but I'll show you what you have to do. So once you go into the second Gary's mod folder, uh, go ahead and go to the second Gary's mod folder, and then just in this add-ons, it it'll explain it in the patch. Uh, take these three folders right here drag and drop them in here. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have the hacks on, that, on this account. And then once you do that, you need to, of course, open and then restart Gmod, as it explains in the readme text. And I'll go over the hotkeys in a second. So once you have that done, open up Gmod. Alright, we're just going to... I guess you could find the server. Now I'll just start. So give me a sec to get this up and running. All right, so here we go. Uh, the server's up. Uh, so let me just make sure everything's not lagging too bad. Because I am recording and I do have uh, Spotify up because I've been listening to music. Uh, so pretty much, depending on what your keyboard layout is, uh, uh, you'll have different ways to turn this on. Uh, originally, I believe the menu was insert, but if you have a key, if you have like a numpad on the side of your keyboard, it's zero. Uh, to turn it on, it's the page up key. So it says there it's successfully loaded. It shows my in-game name, of course it does. Uh, I don't think that matters now. And then uh, this is what you'll see normally with the thing. I believe I have that turned off, but it'll show you the admins normally. Yep, there it goes. Okay, it's staying. Show you the admins. Uh, these are the abilities of it. You have aimbot, which uh, something's creating circuits. Which right, this is what aimbot is, which is what it's covering right now. It's off, on, off. Uh, you can change uh, all the settings of it, like the snap speed. I usually leave it at default because that seems to be that seems to work really well. Uh, one thing that I love is that you can uh, friendly fire. Uh, you can. Like, you know, uh, ignore your friends and everything. Uh, wall hacks, you can see through, and it's set to dark RP. It's This is really good for uh, TTT and dark RP servers. Uh, ESP is essentially like being able to see anyone who's on the map, so I can't really show you because no one else is on the server, and I really don't want to get, even on my alt account, get banned. But, you know, I do troll servers with this occasionally. What? No, I don't. Um, it essentially it'll show their name, uh, their location and everything, and how much health they have, and you can see them through walls and everything. Along with that, you have misc items such as Fulbright, uh, Trader Detector, which you know is for TTT, Anti AFK, which essentially just moves you around and everything. Bunny Hop, Tiny Man. Uh, another thing that's fun is third person. You know, that's kind of fun. Oh, 
that up. Damn it. There we go. So yeah, you can be a Nazi and see yourself in third person. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the basics of the hack. Uh, there's not a whole lot else, like you can fake your speed hack, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really fun, it helps a lot, and it's great for dark RP servers, it'll point out, like with the basic dark RP, it'll point out uh, entity shipments, and it'll also point out, uh, it'll when you get damaged, it'll do automatically slash buy health. I'm not exactly sure to turn that off, I believe that's just with the dark RP stuff. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Flying Nazi. So thanks for watching. Uh, I expect more videos on my like my, my first few videos are gonna be about hacking. Uh, in the comments, just kind of say you know what you want next. More Borderlands 2. I have another hack for Gmod I can show you guys as well as uh, TF2 hacks. Uh, I have a whole I have a whole folder to go over. So. Uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, hearing feedback from this, and yeah, so thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, and